guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so of course today we're doing another valentine's day nail set that's all i've been doing recently but hey it's february now so valentine's day nail sets are a must so here are my natural nails we're just going to get right into this nail set i'm gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles Next, I'm going to be using this round cuticle drill bit, and I'm just going to work this around the cuticle area of my nail. Next, I'm going to take my cuticle scissors and I'm going to trim off this excess dead skin from around the cuticle area. Next, I'm just going to take my hand file and I'm just going to smooth out the free edge of my nails. Next, I have my fine grit sanding band, and I'm just going to file over the surface of the nails. And I'm also going to work this around the cuticle area as well. Okay, next I have my not polished nail tips and I'm just going to size all of these out. Next, I'm going to be gluing on these nail tips using some base coat. Okay, so I got the nail tips all glued on and now I'm just going to trim down the thumbnail. Only the thumbnail though because the thumbnail is always longer than the rest. Next, I'm going to reshape these nail tips a little bit. Next, I'm going to use my fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to remove the shine from all the nail tips. Okay, next we're going to add on a layer of base coat.
Okay, so the next step we're going to be doing is the polygel application. So I'm just going to be using this nude polygel from McCart called A Siesta. It's pretty much the only nude polygel that I use. So for this nail set, we're going to be doing some deep French tips again. I know. There's just so many good sets that are French tip. I just think French tips look really nice. That's why I'm still doing them so much. But yeah, I'm just going to put a bead of polygel near the cuticle area of the nail, and then I'm going to get smoothing that out, like building it up into that skinny oval shape. Now, I don't know what was up with me for this nail set, but for almost every nail, I had to keep adding on more poly gel and I hate doing that. That annoys me so much because when you add on some new poly gel, now you have to smooth it into the last poly gel that you had on the nail already and it just takes more time and it's like you have to restart because when you're smoothing in the new poly gel, it kind of messes up what you already had. So once I have the thumbnail looking how I want, I'm going to cure that in my nail lamp. And then we're going to move on to the next nails. I'm basically doing the same thing, just making that skinny oval shape. For this nail set, I really wanted to make them like extra, extra long. I wanted to double tip them and everything. But when it came down to it, I was like, do I really want to go through putting on the second tip and then having to reshape the nail tips like a lot more than what I would normally have to? And I didn't really feel like doing it. So we're just sticking to the regular length that I normally do but definitely coming up i'm probably going to be doing an extra extra long nail set you know where i double tip the nails and all that and i think this nail set would have looked really good if they were really long but they still look good the length they are I don't know why I wouldn't just add more poly gel when I would be adding it on the nail. It was really annoying. <laughs> Thank you. 
now when doing french tip like i always say you, you want to make sure that this nude part of the nail is a good thickness you don't want it to be too thin and that's why i had to keep going back and adding more poly gel because trust me if this nude part is thin you're just gonna have to end up adding more poly gel after your shaping and now you gotta go back and add more poly gel even though you're in the shaping stage that's even more annoying just try and make this nude part a good thickness even if it's a little bit too thick like that's okay rather be too thick than too thin because you can always file it down and you'll get a nice crisp shape still just look at the nail from all angles like from the sides and just kind of guesstimate like that's a good nail thickness <laughs> And also just try to make sure to round out the nude part of the nail like you know make it that nice oval shape and just make it as crisp as you can so that you'll get a nice smile line the nude part is done i'm going to go ahead and reshape them just to make sure they're extra crisp so i'm just taking my hand file and going around the shape just making sure that there's no like lumps around the edges or anything like that Then we're gonna go ahead and add on the tip colors of the nails. I'm going to be using this glow in the dark pink poly gel from SXC, it's called Virgo. And this nail set was gonna be pink. It was just like, what pink do I wanna use? Do I just wanna use a light pink, a regular opaque pink? And I was like, well, if I'm gonna do pink, I might as well make it glow in the dark. So I chose this poly gel because I did honestly want these nails to glow in the dark. I'm just going to be adding a lot of poly gel at the tip of the nail and making sure to get that poly gel down to the sides of the nails, you know, to give it that deep friendship tip look it's, i feel like it's always hard to get the poly gel down there by the sides just because it's so close to the skin it's kind of a struggle <laughs> but i'm just going to continue smoothing out all this poly gel and trying to make the tip of the nails not too thick as well so i'm just taking off any of that excess poly gel that i don't need just trying to make them as thin as i can so that will help me when i'm shaping the nails i won't have to file it down too much So Valentine's Day is coming up really quickly. I've done so many Valentine's Day nail sets so far. Um, I think it was really good that I started doing these sets back in, like in the middle of January because I remember last year I literally only did like two Valentine's Day nail sets. So this year is different and I have like more than eight already I think. And I hope you guys are enjoying all the videos and all the Valentine's Day sets. But now that Valentine's Day is coming closer really quickly, I want to know what you guys want to see before the season is over so like are you sick of french tips like what else can i do i haven't done like a fully red nail set i've done the red french tips with the pink nail art and stuff so that was kind of like a pink and red set but i haven't done a fully like just red is the main color so do you guys want to see like a red valentine's day nail set now let me know what nail sets you guys want as we get closer to valentine's day
So after we're done with all the poly gel application, I'm just gonna wipe off that sticky layer from the nails and hear how they are looking. So now we're just gonna get reshaping them. I'm just gonna be using my Macartas collector and a hand file, and yeah, we're just gonna get reshaping. So here's how the nails are looking after they have been shaped. And now we're just going to finish this nail set off with some top coat. I'm kidding. We're actually just going to be adding on top coat to the nails. And this is the finished layer of top coat. Like after this, I'm not going to be adding on any more top coat. So I got to make sure that this top coat is like nice, you know? And now we're going to get into this nail art. I'm just mixing together some light pink, some hot pink. And some purple because this pink on my nails is kind of like a dark pink so I just added some purple and we're just gonna be making some hearts that's the nail art and then I'm gonna be sprinkling them with some clear dip powder I only had dip powder but you can use acrylic I'm pretty sure it's usually done with acrylic dip powder worked the same and that's all I had I just used some clear dip powder to give it that 3d puffy effect So I'm just drawing on a bunch of these hearts and that is pretty much the nail art and the nail set because I don't think you're supposed to put top coat after you sprinkle it on the powder, right? Because that kind of like ruins the effect. I've done that before on a nail set. I put top coat over this and it didn't look correct at all. So I didn't add top coat over them. So that's why I was saying that the top coat layer that we put had to be nice because that's like the final layer of top coat. I don't know, it's kind of backwards. It makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable that we're doing it backwards, but like that's that's how you're supposed to do it, I'm pretty sure. So in the inspiration picture, they added on like tiny little gems, nail gems, like throughout the nail art, but I didn't really want to do that. So I just left it the hearts and I still think it looked really good. But this nail art was pretty simple and I think beginners can definitely do it. It was actually really like fun and satisfying because hearts are very easy and I love doing hearts. And then pouring on that dip powder was like very satisfying as well. And then you cure it and then you dust it off and that's also satisfying. And then that is the nail art. So I'm just going to continue drawing on these hearts and adding on that dip powder.
So after all the nail art is done, I'm just going to make sure that I'm dusting off all the nails really well so that none of that dip powder is left over. And then we're just going to be adding on some cuticle oil. And here's how the nails turned out. It feels really weird that we didn't add on top coat over the nail art. Like we just did the nail art and skipped cuticle oil. It was really weird, but I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it, right? I don't really know. All I know is that it turned out how I wanted it to. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I think it's really cute and pretty simple. Just like a good nail set. And here's how they look glowing in the dark. They glow like this yellow color and the glow doesn't really last that long. So like if I put the UV light on it, they glow for a second and then they start changing back. So the glow doesn't really last very long. That's why I had to shine my UV flashlight on them. But I really like how they look deep French tips and the glow in the dark and the hearts but that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you all next time bye